Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the tooltip series. Let's begin. So the goal in this series is to make a tooltip. This is a great UI element that we can use to show extra information to the player. Later we will adapt our code to easily show a item stats tooltip. So first we're going to create the basic tooltip. We want to make a simple UI element that we can show and hide while following the mouse. We also want the background to adapt to whatever text we give it. For testing, we're going to show the tooltip when we pass the mouse over a button or a label. Then we're going to work on making sure the tooltip is always visible. That means calculating the background size to see if the tooltip is leaving the screen and if so, move it accordingly. With the tooltip always visible inside the screen, we're going to add the ability to update it in real time. This is great for displaying something that is constantly changing like a cooldown. We will also add various helper functions and extension methods to make our class very easy to use. Afterwards, we will create a separate tooltip class to show a warning. So we'll make it flash red and display a warning message for some time. This is very useful in addition to the regular tooltip, so we can show the player an error message like if he can't afford a certain amount. And finally, we're going to take our code and quickly adapt it into a complex item stats window. We will use the code for following the mouse and keeping it inside the screen while adding many new text fields and images. This will show you how important it is to write code that is easy to understand so you can adapt it to something different when needed. So that's the plan for the tooltip series. It's a great UI element that is essential if your game is UI heavy. Also if you ever need to create some sort of item stats window you'll be able to easily adapt the code to support it. So go watch the playlist and begin learning right now. As always, you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.